3.57 clock running, third quarter, Jaguars trail by a field goal. David's got three wide in his shotgun, drops to throw, has time, turns and launches the ball for Mike Sims. Walker, he's got it! On They're Mike looking, Mohawk. touchdown Jacksonville! And there's the Duke City Dames. And they can't challenge it. That is David Gerard's 20th touchdown pass of the season, which ties a franchise record. Tom Cable can't challenge it. The call on the field is touchdown, and the Jaguars grab the lead. Boy, what a beautiful throw. Man coverage, Michael Huff covering Mike Sims Walker, and look at the replay. I mean, that was on the money. So Gerard, 110 left in the half. Sims Walker on. Walker and he scores 61 yards and finally David Garrard breaks through with the touchdown pass he's the most excited guy out there for sure next to Michael Sims Walker Garrard handles the high snap throws over the middle touchdown to Mike Sims Walker well this is about to get mighty exciting here And again, look at that snap high and left. David Garrard does a nice job of corralling it. He's checking things out, but uh, that snap took him by surprise, and that was a good job of fielding it cleanly. And look at that ball. It just went right through the arms of a Colt defender. Garrard to the end zone. Mike Sims Walker for the touchdown. Two tight names are right. Zach Miller and Mercedes Lewis. Mike Walker is left. Coming out of the backfield to line up on the right side now is Drew. Jones is the only back. Quick drop, quick throw. There's the catch and Mike Walker. Quick tackle. He's going to the end zone. And he is touchdown Jacksonville. The first touchdown throw on the road by the Jaguars this year gives the Jaguars a 20 to 10 lead. Three wideouts. David's in the shotgun at his own 38 yard line. Back to corners off, takes the snap, the man rush, he's got time, launches the ball, he's looking for Mike Walker, and he's got it, down the sideline and out of bounds, Mike Walker with an amazing catch at the 29-yard line of Arizona, what a catch. Well, that was a good catch, he ran right down the sideline, and he had Dominique Rogers Cromartie as the corner, and then late safety help from intro roll late, but boy, what did you have to have for that play to happen, protection, and the protection was solid up front. Gerard under center. Hands open. Play action. Quick drop. Turns and fires. He's got a man. Mike Sims Walker. Touchdown Jacksonville. What a beautiful throw and a great job by Sims Walker to get those feet down at the back of the end zone. Well, that is a nice throw by David Gerard. Nice identification. And did he get that second foot down? And looking at the Bowden Eye Associates giant replay monitor, <laughs> Mike Sims Walker did get the second foot down. The referees are under some pressure with a monitor like this, are they not? Well, everyone's going to see and, well, everything and, 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 crystal clear. So they need a first down. That would be 10. A touchdown would be nice on fourth down. Any hope the Jags have. What a catch, man. That's going to be a touchdown Jacksonville. Mike Sims Walker. And just when I talk about rushing four and dropping seven into coverage, they decide to bring pressure, which leaves all of your defenders one-on-one -on -one in coverage, and all it takes is one missed tackle, and you're taking it to the house. So you take that risk as a defensive coordinator, knowing all your guys are one-on-one -on -one and on an island, and if something bad happens with that one player, then it's a touchdown. And, and they decide to take that risk, and when you have a 21-point lead, that's when you can afford to take it. First and 10 at the 35-yard line, Zach Miller checks into the ball game. The rookie tight end from the University of Nebraska, Omaha. We're all kind of anxious to see him develop into the player the Jaguars believe he can. Mercedes Lewis slides in motion. Here's play action. David rolling out of it to the right. Looks deep down the field. Now launches the ball. He's got Walker on the run at the 30-yard line of St. Louis. First and 10, Jacksonville. He is caught from behind before he can escape by Craig Dahl. But it's a big pickup on the play of... 35 yards. That's an excellent read by David. The intended receiver was the tight end, Zach Miller. Mike Sims Walker, all he was was designed to clear the field out. 
but David kept the play alive, and Mike Sims Walker did continue to run his route, which I give him credit for, because when you're a decoy, sometimes you just kind of drift off, and David made a beautiful throw. Second and goal from inside the 10. Bauman works from the shotgun. He sets up Mercedes Lewis in the wing outside Eugene Monroe. Marks out the signals. There's a three-man rush. Wolf time slings the ball. He's got a man. Touchdown, Mike Sims Walker. And the Jaguars come roaring right back down the field, and it's 21-19. to Well, how about that throw by Bauman? I mean, it was right there between the corner and the safety on the side of the end zone. That was a great read by Bauman and a nice throw. Mike Sims Walker continues to impress here today. Had a big game against Kansas City and Jacksonville last November. Made a couple of big catches here today. None bigger than that one. Second and eight at the 19. David crouches under center. Brad Meester takes the drop. Quick look. Turns and fires. He's got Sims Walker. And he's in free in the middle of the field. He's at the 40. The 45. And caught shy of midfield. Mike Sims Walker is to the 48-yard line. Calls for the snap. Takes it. Quick drop. Pumps. Now he's going to step back into the pocket and launch one for Mike Sims Walker down the far sideline. This one. Caught! Mike Sims Walker's got it inside the 20 yard line at the 18. What a beautiful throw by Gerard, putting it right in Walker's hands. Well, and that could take Mike Sims Walker over 100 yards receiving it, but I want to see the feet, boy. That was really close. Now, did he get both feet inbounds? It's a 39 yard completion. He may not have. 